skateboarding a champion from skateboarding and this house just welcome you to the sports chat this is star 103.5 fm my name is joe's 80 that i joe's ag and it's good to be back of course big big shout to nana ama ajiman um today she's a fifa lady but the prophetess as well all right so this morning on the sports chat we're going to be talking um the women's league yes if you remember don't forget that they have uh put together um a meeting i mean it was launched the last time and the clubs have been advised to work on their social media so we get to listen to dr gifty Owari um speaking and then we'll also move to the uh black sharks because they are going to be they are not like the black stars as for them they've qualified yes the black sharks have qualified the black stars <laughs> They might not qualify so would we'll move to beach soccer because the black sharks um are preparing to go to their afcon and then we'll would also see the mtn fa cup yes yes we'll bring you news from the mtn fa cup and i will take you straight uh before we take you straight we'll get to captain cruz he's been speaking he's been saying some few things and then he says actually people we are sorry we are sorry yes we'll get to listen to uh captain kudu speaking because he has actually come out to apologize and release a statement yesterday okay so let, let, let's just start off from um the women's premier league because the official launch of the 2024-2025 motor guinness women's premier league highlighted key initiatives aimed at growing women's football in ghana now the event introduced new sponsorship deals improvements in league structures and plans to increase visibility for the sports stakeholders emphasize their commitment to supporting the talent and then development of women footballers the league would feature several competitive teams from across the country with uh, expectations of increased fan engagement and in media coverage throughout the season the motor guinness sponsorship continues to strengthen the league's profile and promote women's sports in ghana all right so let, let's just let me just bring you the fixtures because the match the one fixtures for the ghana women's premier league yes they deserve some applause because we've given all the attention to the black stars and so we'll see Northern ladies take fc savannah would we'll see kumasi sports academy take on supreme ladies and the tamale super ladies come up against dreams ladies for suit royal ladies would play uh sun shining ladies pretty ladies would take on ampem the qualities that should be a big game and then in so these are results i mean fixtures for the northern zone and for the southern zone would we'll see epiphany warriors take on faith ladies hazakas ladies come up against berry ladies army ladies would play soccer intellectuals lady strikers would play police ladies and then jonina ladies would take on halifax ladies but then let's get to listen to dr mrs gifty oware executive council member and owner of berry ladies speaking at the land she has urged the clubs to work on their social media these are social media platforms to promote the game we all love so much we can't be able to do much because you can still pick these feeds from the various tv stations and still promote it on your social club gfa has a huge media system where you can seek for assistance and we'll be glad to come to your various spaces and assist you we wish all the clubs a very great season we know it's going to be a season free just as last season because after a meeting with the clubs the clubs promised us they were going to give us a season free i'm happy that i stand here after a year of being your esco rep to launch today and also say thank you again for believing in us for always giving us all the ideas that you have all right so we wish uh them all the best this season and then uh, let's see if ampem dakwa ladies can um, do well or if hazakas ladies once again would emerge champions now the 2024-25 mtn fa cup kicks off with the uh, first round draw to happen today now these matches will be played from october 25th to 28 2024 premier league teams enter in the round of 64 and that would occur from uh, november 29th to december 2nd 2024 the competition progresses with rounds of 32 and 16 in january and february 2025 respectively the quarterfinals will be march and semi-finals in may and the final will take place between june 14th 
or 15th, 2025. Now, Ghana's under 20. Um, no, not under 20. Ghana's Black Sharks. Yes, the Black Sharks. They have set camp in Keta to intensify preparations for the upcoming Beach Soccer Afcon. Uh, that should happen from October 19th to the 26th in Egypt. The team is focusing, of course, on rigorous training sessions, team bonding, and tactical drills under the leadership of their technical team. So, actually, try to reach out to um, one of the coaches, the assistant coach, and then the head coach. But then we are able to reach them. But then, trust me, to do that for you uh, by tomorrow, we'll get to hear from the coach of the Black Sharks ahead of their beach soccer AFCON. So, the beach soccer AFCON will bring together top teams from across the continent with the black sharks looking to make a strong impact and at the support of the ghana football association now the team's camp includes friendly matches and intense drills to sharpen skills in both defense and offense as they aim for success in egypt so we wish them all the best we wish the black sharks all the best in the all right mo kudus mohammed kudus has issued an apology and assurance to Ghanaians after recent disappointing performances by the black stars against sudan and Libya. So, as captain, he took responsibility on behalf of the team, expressing regret for failing to meet expectations. And Kudus acknowledged the nation's frustration, but reassured fans that the team is committed to learning from their mistakes and working hard to restore Ghana's football glory. Uh, he also urged Ghanaians to continue supporting the team, promising they are determined to improve in future matches. So, let me just read um, excerpts, I mean, of... Uh, Kuku Mokudus, captain, the number 10 boy. Yes, people have issues with the fact that Mohamed Kudus chose the number 10 jersey on the day he would captain the Black Stars. And uh, a lot of people are saying that it has backfired. Well, the statement says, um, as someone who captained the team in the two games, it is with great humility and a deep sense of responsibility that I issued this statement on behalf of the entire team. I would like to extend our sincerest apologies to the people of Ghana for our recent performances against Sudan in Accra and Libya. Despite our utmost efforts and dedication, the results did not reflect our aspirations or the pride we have in representing our beloved nation. We understand uh, the disappointment and the frustration this has caused and we share those feelings. We want to assure Ghanaians that we are committed to learning from our mistakes, regrouping, and working tirelessly to restore the Black Stars to our former glory. Uh, we value the unwavering support and loyalty you've shown us, and we are determined to make you proud once again. We urge our fans to stand by us during this uh, challenging period. Your encouragement and faith in us will fuel our determination to succeed. We will not give up. We will not give up. We look forward to to redeeming ourselves in the upcoming matches. So, this is the statement from Captain Mohamed Kudus. He's sorry, so you guys should forgive him. Mm -hmm. Okay, now uh, to Morocco, where we will not be going, Morocco. But Morocco would host the 2024 CAF Women's Champions League Finals from uh, November 3rd to 23rd, featuring eight clubs. The total prize money, of course, is 650,000 US dollars with 400,000 uh, 400, for the winners and 250,000 US dollars, of course, for the runner ups. Current holders, Mamelody Sundowns uh, from South Africa and host team AS Far from Morocco are among the qualified teams. Other qualified clubs include uh, Agels de la Medina from Senegal, Edo Queens from Nigeria, University of Western Cape from South Africa. Tuntan Kamun from Egypt, CBFC from Ethiopia, TP Mazembe from the R Congos. Of course, this uh, tournament continues to contribute to the group of women's football in Africa. So, uh, next month, November 3rd to November 9th to November 23rd, we'll see the 2024 CAF Women's Champions League finals happening in Morocco. We wish all the clubs, of course, all the best in the hopefully, we'll see um our hazakes ladies in there soon well on uh, the champions league in the women's league in uh, europe we saw yesterday Porting they lost to manchester city by two goals to three juventus uh also lost to Bayern Munich by two goals to nothing barcelona uh hamed hamabai if by nine goals to nothing and then us now beat uh valarenga by four goals to one 
in there. Okay. Now, England. England have announced Thomas Tuchel. Uh, people would want to call him to hell. But a new coach of the English side, the Three Lions, Thomas Tuchel is convinced that he can push England to find a higher gear as he targets success at the 2026 World Cup. Tuchel has been appointed England head coach on an 18-month contract from January 2025 with the sole focus of ending the nation's 60-year wait for a trophy in the the United States of America, of course, the World Cup. Now, England have finished runner-ups uh, runner at successive European Championships under Gary Southgate and reached the semi-finals of the World Cup in 2018, but could not get over the line. And uh, we hope he actually believes that they actually can go to get a trophy there. So, the former PSG and Chelsea boss believes he has inherited a group ready to win from Southgate, but admits he sees room for improvement. Like I said, I, 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 I got very, Mark and John um, made very clear that it's about football and this excited me very quickly because I was not sure before we had this first talk if this is a role for me like in international football because it is, the schedule is very different from, from club football. But then we found uh, so many similarities and so many things that, 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 that suited my, my approach and my hunger. To, to, to achieve uh, special things. I always wanted to come back uh, to England. That was my big goal. I have the, the, the best memories of, of the country, of the league and of the <coughs> players. The attitude towards the game, the attitude from the supporters who, um, uh, that shapes the players and the, the character of the players was uh, one of a kind. And um, that's why the, the offer came in the absolutely right time. We kept the momentum in, and within weeks we found uh, we found a, a, a vision to share and, and a project and an adventure that, that I'm, I'm very happy to be, to be a, a big part of. And now I have to live up to it, of course. And, and um, I know that there are some trophies missing um, in, in the Federation. And of course, I, wanna be, I, I, I want to help to make it happen. Meanwhile, former Manchester United manager Gary Neville has questioned whether the appointment of Thomas Tuchel fits the Football Association's commitment to an English coaching pathway, despite his status as the best available manager in the world right now. Now, the former Engl uh, England fullback who capped uh, the Three Lions 85 times says there is an element of disappointment that England's top job has gone to an international manager and that the decision feels uh, instinctive and not strategic. I think Gareth in this last six, seven years, I think has, has basically restored an element of faith, not just in English coaching, but also in English players. Um, and the technical ability of English players has improved enormously, I think, in the last five to ten years. So I think what the FA have done, it doesn't seem like a strategic decision. It feels like, to me, a quite instinctive one off the back of what's happened in the last couple of weeks. Thomas Tuchel has been available for months. Um, there was no need to appoint an interim. Um, of Lee Carsley, they wanted Thomas Tuchel months ago. So this, to me, smacks of it being quite a recent decision. I don't think Thomas Tuchel should be in any way, shape or form uh, questioned in a difficult way this afternoon when he sits in the press conference because I think that he's a great coach. He's taken a job with a group of talented players and I think everybody in our country, including myself, will wish him all the best and hope we can get over the line and win a trophy. But I think there are some serious questions for the FA to answer in respect of English coaching. I do think that we are, are damaging ourselves. Except Now, Juventus midfielder Paul Pogba says he's not a cheater but accepted responsibility for the failed doping test that led to his ban from football. Pogba's four-year ban was reduced to 18 months earlier this month after the court of, of arbitration for sports accepted his uh, injection of a banned sus substance was not intentional. Now, the 31-year-old was suspended by Italy's national anti-doping tribunal in february after a drug test found elevated levels of testosterone uh, a hormone that increases endurance in his system here is popo was speaking for the first time after his offense sure for sure that means that um, i take responsibility of yes i've took the the supplement and i didn't triple check let's say it like that i didn't triple check even if it came it came from a professional but if I have to be punished, let's say it like that, I'm fine with it. Okay, but you will never, 
should never be uh, for years. That's the, the thing, that's why I'm like, okay, I will be punished, and they give me four, four years, and I'm, I will accept to, to, have, to, to get 12 months, you know? Do you think people should have sympathy for you? People should look in your situation and think, he, he's made a mistake, uh, you know, let's not be too hard on him. Or, because some people will say, you broke the rules, it, it, it's your responsibility what you put in your body, mm -hmm. and if it's a four-year ban, it should be a four-year ban. I mean, I think people should uh, get the truth, and what the, the task, uh, the result, what they say, the document, he says everything in there. And I guess, and I believe, um, that if I had less years that another Nado gave me, I would, I would probably get less uh, than, than 18 months. All right, so we'll see the return of Paul Pogba, and uh, let's see if he can go on to do well once again. That'll be all for sports this morning. My name is Jones, ADZI. This is Star 103.5 FM. <laughs>